Hey, let's run through an example of setting up a notification pop-up. So on my page here, I have a shop page. And let's say, for example, I have a button on my page that on click, we want to show a notification for. What I can do is I can go to the pop-ups tab. I can create a new pop-up. I can choose the alert template. And by default with the alert template, it comes with an alert title and an alert description property. And also by default, the text elements inside of the pop-up are automatically bound to their respective properties. So this description is bound to the description property and the title is bound to the alert title property. Let's say we want to have different states. So maybe we want to have a success notification or an error notification. Well, what we can do is we can add a new property. Let's call it type. And I will choose this outer flex box of the pop-up. I will go to the state dropdown and I'm going to add a state. Here, I will call the state success. And for the condition, I'm going to say whenever type equals success, like so. And in this state, I want the pop-up to have a green border. So making sure that the success state is active here, I'm going to change the border to be green. And if I scroll back to the top, I'm going to turn apply to children on. What this now means is that any elements inside of this flex box will have access to this state. So if I click onto this icon and open the state dropdown, we can see the Flexbox success state is available. So when I click this, I can now configure certain conditions whenever this state is true. And so when it is true, I want to show a check icon and I want the check icon to be green like so. And so if I now go back to the instance and close the pop-up on this show notification button, I will go into the on-click workflow. I'm going to add an open pop-up action. I will choose the alert pop-up. And here I'll just put in some random values and I'm going to leave the type blank just to make sure this works as expected. So when I click this, I should see the pop-up and I do, but it doesn't have the success state. And if I now go back into the workflow and change the type past to be success, when I now try this, we can see it has the success state with the green border and the green check. And if I wanted to, I could edit this further. So I could go into the pop-up, I could change some of the styling. I can see here it's not expanding to take up the entire width. So I could change this sizing property, that looks a bit better. And I can add further states. So for example, alongside a success state, maybe I want an error state. And similarly, it will be when the type equals error. I'll also apply this to children, give it a red border whenever it's true. And same for the icon, whenever the error state is active. I want to show a warning and I want it to be red. And so if I close the pop-up, change these type passed in the workflow to be error and test in preview, we can see it displays the error state. 